shoulder forward, basically to get this one back to come forward to collide if they want to counter. All right. After that, you're gonna drop and then overhand right. Boom. All right. So it's bam, bam, go back. Boom. Come in. Boom again. All right. Notice how well, you can't see it on that side, but notice how my leg goes out because I'm crossing over. All right. You don't want to go straight. You don't want to go wild because you're opening. You know, that's why it's called a straight cross because you're crossing over the path, uh, the midline, all right, crossing over. Anyhow, so uh, you're gonna go bam, bam, what is it, you come back, throw that elbow, one more time, throw that overhand right, all right, right here, since I'm going that way, the leg's gonna naturally come out a little bit, all right, to get that kind of balance, and this is what it looks like, all right. Notice how it went out, all right, so go nice and slow, practice that. All right, once again, watch how much distance I'm, I'm manipulating around. All right, and then back up. I went like this, look at how it goes sideways as well. All right, and as you can see, compare them both. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them together with the GoPro uh, view on the side over here, and you'll see how much, di uh, how, how difficult my chin is being a target. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and drill that for a little longer. Here we go. And so basically, you're creating two feints. Punch, punch, feint, elbow, feint, to get away, obviously, and then throw it straight. Once again, punch, punch, feint, elbow, feint, elbow. So they're going to think that, that that jab is coming or something like that. So here we go, that's what it looks like. And then back out. I can do it on the retreat. I messed up on that one. Just like that. So just keep dreaming it. And don't forget, eventually do the other side as well. That way you familiarize yourself with both sides. Trust me, your, co your confidence mentally and physically is going to go way up, which is going to make you faster and stronger. combinations all right it takes a lot a lot it taxes the body a lot all right uh, energy wise um, a lot of going back and forth a lot of lunging believe it or not a lot of plyometrics a lot of core being involved stuff like that so it, it takes a lot of energy more than you think um, try it out first and then apply it to your students or whatnot or whatever the case may be so don't forget you're only limited to your creativity pain is temporary pride is eternal fulfillment lasts forever don't forget that mobility and flexibility is the number one uh, component you should be working on yourself uh, for longevity aside from becoming stronger uh, faster stuff like that um, uh, with more stamina uh, so I want to thank here my friend Warrior Steven for helping me demonstrate this uh, pain is temporary prize eternal fulfillment lasts forever the fight will be worth it as long as it's not a broken bone just keep fighting through it all right uh, obviously be, be uh, fair to yourself don't just you know keep going uh, uh, all hard and stuff like that be smart. If you have a bad ankle, work hand and eye coordination. Uh, work upper body, stuff like that. Um, uh, by mobilizing that leg a little bit, but don't keep it 100% mobilized. You want to move your ankle, stuff like that, into the discomfort so that it can adapt to that motion. KO method, baby, knocking out the competition.